morning everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to another msm as you can see today we're having a sit down and our question today is how do you deal with betrayal with god by your side so the video is going to come in two parts one part will deal specifically with dealing with betrayal as the betrayee so as the one that was betrayed the other one will be for the betrayer so the one that betrayed the other person so this video is going to be for the betrayer so if you have betrayed someone this video is for you the first thing you have to do is ask for forgiveness first john 1 verse 9 says if we confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So first of all, ask for forgiveness from the person that you betrayed and ask for forgiveness from God. God's forgiveness is not automatic. Yes, it's there. Yes, Jesus died for our sins, but you also still have to go to him, ask for forgiveness and forgiveness will be granted. It does not mean that because Jesus died for our sins, then all forgiveness all things that you do are automatically going to be forgiven even when you don't go to Jesus and actually confess. You have to confess your sins and he will forgive you. The second thing is to be honest. You have to be honest with yourself firstly, what you have done. Understand that what you did was wrong. Understand that what you did hurt someone else and then be honest to the person that you hurt be honest about what happened be honest on why you did it be give them all the information they need in order for them to also take a step forward in healing and forgiving you then be honest with god it's there's a saying that god doesn't heal what he doesn't know god cannot heal things that he doesn't know god gave us a choice he gave us a choice to do whatever we want to do. We have to decide to invite him. For example, we always told, you need to invite God into your event. You need to invite God into your life. Same goes for forgiveness and asking for healing. You need to invite him. You need to let him know what happened. You need to be honest with him too, because in honesty and giving off your heart to him, he is able to forgive you fully as you deserve. Be honest to the person you betrayed, Give them a step into healing for themselves too. And if you care about that person, obviously you will make sure that they also heal from what you have caused in their life. The last thing is forgive yourself. Psalm 103 verse 10 says, He does not deal with us according to our sins, nor repay us according to our iniquities. Yes, you are wrong. Yes, you what you did was bad. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you are a bad person. You too deserve forgiveness. You too deserve kindness. You too deserve the Lord's comfort. So go to God. Let him comfort you. Forgive yourself. Be kind to yourself. Accept your faults. Accept that you did something wrong. Understand also that it is wrong. The minute you accept that what you did is actually wrong, you are taking a step into healing, into forgiving yourself, and into being forgiven by the other person and being forgiven by God. I also read somewhere that it is easy to lose ourselves when we are being there for other people every day. So if you have to take some time off from that person or from that situation, take the time you need Go take a breather, relax, forgive yourself, be kind to yourself, love yourself. Let God cleanse you. Let God make you righteous because he's the only one that is capable of turning our sins around, turning us around and making us pure as he loves us to be. So understand that forgiving yourself is also helping yourself move on and being a better person. At the end of the day, Jesus loves us all and we are all God's kids and he wants everyone to be happy, to be calm and to enjoy life and its fruits that he has granted us. So give yourself a chance and you will surely one day be as pure as you would like to be.